I couldn't repeat it 15 times, it got obvious, so I stopped, I panicked, I ran off stage. I didn't want to go back to stage, I had enough, 80,000 people waiting. And right before it was time for me to walk out, they went to zip it up and, and right there I thought I died. Like I, like it was, it. So you had to walk out holding the whole thing together. <laughs> I didn't have any underwear on, so I was butt ass naked. On a Monday, I am waiting. Tuesday, I'm fading. Because her voice was hoarse, Ashley had decided to lip sync a tape recording of her song. But when the wrong song came up, she did an awkward little dance. She looked confused, not sure what to do. Then flustered, she walked off the set. Everyone on the show was stunned, including Lorne Michaels, who told us he didn't know she was planning to lip sync. No one ever said the words to you, no. can we lip sync? Oh, absolutely not. What can I say? Live TV. Exactly. I feel so bad my band started playing the wrong song. The beginning of the end came not with a bang or even a whimper, but with a skip. On stage one night in July of 1989, in front of thousands of fans in Bristol, Connecticut, the unthinkable happened. Their pre-recorded vocal track got stuck. I wanted to die. It stopped. Girl, you know it's girl, you know it's girl. 80,000 people. Girl, you know it's girl, you know. You know, I couldn't repeat it 15 times. Girl, you know. It got obvious. So I stopped. I panicked. I ran off stage. I didn't want to go back to stage. I had enough. 80,000 people waiting. I said, I have enough. I quit. We didn't have a check for this song, so we'll just say it went to number one, and that's what it is. Okay. Feels like a dream. Feels like a dream. We're missing some of this logo, but it is what it is. Okay. We didn't have a sound check for this New Year's, baby. That's okay, you guys. Girls. Put these monitors on, please. All right, just for laughs to the lift.
FCC received more than 500,000 complaints about that broadcast. CBS was fined $550,000. And then the NFL was asked to refund the $10 million that they had been given to the halftime show sponsor. Was it planned, Janet? No. He was to take and rip the piece off that he did. The leather but, piece. Right. But more came off than what was supposed yeah. to. John, as we were saying earlier, yeah. although you had this admiration for Chuck yeah. for this many years, yeah. today was the first actual meeting. I met him, yeah. I think he's the greatest. I really love him. It's Let's an honor to be here backing him. John Lennon is singing with Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry is probably one of the main reasons why John Lennon, Lennon ever picked up a guitar. So now he's on TV. He gets to play with his idol. They're playing uh, Chuck Berry's hit Memphis. Okay, John Lennon's got Yoko in his fucking band. But anyway, she's up there playing the bongos, right? So John Lennon, Chuck Berry, two of the greats of all time, harmonizing, singing this hit from the 1950s. That's what this moment's about. And Yoko, in the middle of it, can't handle that she's not getting any shine. She takes the fucking microphone out of the stand, starts playing the bongo. And as they're singing, you know, go, go, Johnny, go, whatever. She picks up the mic and I swear to God goes, yeah, 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 some fucking crazy shit. And you see Chuck Berry's eyes can open as wide as they are and, and it's that it's that fucking look Chuck Berry had that look on his face dude I'm not even jo like, I'm not even exaggerating she, yeah, yeah, that's what the f she did and Chuck Berry's like, what the f***? And John Lennon does not even f***ing... He doesn't even blink. He just he just keeps playing. And then she does it again later on in that song. Oh, information, please. Johnny, put me through to her. 